Today, we're exploring the sweetness that Orlando has to offer from the modest and unique AAPI community businesses. Let's cool down from the Orlando heat and hear from Kagan, the young owner of Hapo Hollow Grill that specializes in Hawaiian Filipino barbecue. My name is Kagan Baker. I am the owner and chef of Keahi's Hapo Hollow Grill. The reason why I started Hapo Hollow Grill is because my wife and all her family, they didn't really have a place to go to eat the food that they grew up on. Uh, my best friend has helped me a lot. They kind of inspired me to do the grill this way. They ate the street food growing up. They learned how to do it, and they just love the food. And there's no place around here or literally anywhere in Florida that we can go and eat that food. Now that we have a feel for Kagan's journey and a deeper look into Hawaiian barbecue, let's pivot to Brandy, Kagan's mother, the owner of Hanalei Shaved Ice. Uh, aloha, my name is Brandy Ford. I started this um, shave ice confections uh, back a little bit before uh, the coronavirus. <laughs> and I did it because I wanted to share um, shave ice with Orlando. It was something that I was pretty passionate about and I wanted to learn about some cultural backgrounds and some things that my father had done. Uh, so, you know, it just started as, as more of a project to share and it turned into a business that I love. I'm Hawaiian, I'm from the island of Kauai. My father was Hawaiian, my mother was uh, German and Ukrainian. Uh, so we have a very diverse background. The inspiration behind my product is my father, Don. Um, my father loved his island more than anything in the world. Uh, he was a Marine. And so he didn't get to be on his island for his entire life, but the island of Kauai was very special to him. He was inspired by just the movement of the island or the, the way that the waves came onto the shore. Um, and he also was kind of a go-getter. <laughs> and uh, he got to travel to a couple of different islands as a young person. And he went to the island of Oahu and he actually shaved ice there in Oahu. And the machine that I have in my trailer right now is the same machine that my father used. So it's very special. So it's it's not all Hawaiian to shave ice, but it is all Hawaii to be able to share that with Orlando. The way I want my cuisine to affect and impact the AAPI community is I want everyone to feel included. So there's a lot of things that I do that help that, like talking to people, Every time I make a shave ice for someone, they, they tell me about what they used to have as a child, like halo halo or, or, or binsu or, you know, all these different flavors. And so over the next 15 to 18 weeks, I'm going to be featuring somebody explaining why it was so important to them as a child. You know, if I can take someone back for just a second to their island or to their, their, their homeland uh, through an, a confection, that's super exciting. But it helps to build the community uh, because I want people to have that moment where when they take a bite of it, they, they feel like they're there. with uh, lily koi, which is passion fruit. Guava or coconut or have it plain. Whenever it's plain, it's just uh, granulated. Mm -hmm. All right, do you want condensed milk on yours? Uh -huh. okay. This was my first uh, shaka that was ever drawn for me. My daughter, uh, Braylon, drew that for me. So hashtag stop Asian hate is something that everyone should be backing. Uh, through Corona, people, you know, did things that were terrible. You know, I just saw things in my own community, like tagging of restaurants and stores because they were pred predominantly Asian and Pacific Islander. I thought that was just a horrible thing. And so I spoke out to my congressmen and women and I, I rolled paint. You know, you, you can't just sit back and watch something like that happening to any culture and not feel for what's going on. Um, because sometimes we tend to to not embrace those things so easily. So stopping Asian hate is very important. Stopping hate universally is important, but you know, building up your community is one way you can stop hate and building awareness. Um, so it's something that I'm very passionate about and always have been, and, and I want to see a more diverse world. 
Brandy's social contribution to the hashtag Stop Asian Hate movement is what we need in our community, all while feeding a positive outcome we want in our world, one sweet treat at a time.